everyone, this is Riley with Diesel Laptops. Today I'll be doing a quick overview of the Cummins Inline 7 adapter. Now this adapter is going to serve as the pass-through device when hooking into your Cummins engines. A couple of positives and negatives to start off with. Positives are going to be the additional Cummins 3-pin that comes included with the case. Uh, second is going to be this is the recommended adapter when using Cummins Insight software. And the third is going to be the one-year warranty and moderate durability that comes with the adapter. Uh, going into the negatives, um, you'll notice a huge similarity between this uh, adapter box and the Nexic USB Link 2. The reason for that is the same company makes both adapters. Uh, the only difference between this and the Nexic USB Link 2 is the Cummins brand. Um, now if you're into a Cummins sticker on your adapter, this is the adapter for you. Uh, it really doesn't justify the huge price difference between the two. Um, other negative would be there is no OBD2 cable that comes with this. So if you're expecting to hook into a Dodge that has a Cummins in it, you're out of luck. Um, reason for that is no one can really hook into a Dodge because of the electronic system. You'd have to take it to a dealer. Looking in the case, you will find the following cables. It's going to be the USB cable, the 6-pin, 9-pin, and Cummins 3-pin. As you'll see on screen here, uh, we'll be doing a demonstration of how you would hook them in to the adapters on the trucks. And that concludes this quick overview of the Cummins Inline 7 adapter. Thank you for watching.